How is it going? Welcome to another episode of our Subnautica Below Zero Adventure. Thank you so much for being here. We are out here on Planet 4546B. You already know we're on the lily pads. We're right next to VIP base. We have a ton to do. Last time was so much fun. We, well, we got to explore the vent garden, right? And we met the Shadow Leviathan, which was incredible. And then we actually found the wreck, the Mercury, I think it was called. So we're definitely going to be revisiting that area today. And that's going to be so awesome. We have to go find the wreck. Let's we'll see if I remember. It's been about a week <laughs> since that last episode. But one of the things I was really struggling with last time is we didn't have our trailer. We've gone through all this trouble to upgrade Silothamus. Where is it? It's already turned on. And we don't even have it. Like, we'd even bring the trailer with us. Oh, this is brutal. This is actually brutal, everyone. We're at 39% power. Hmm. 39%. <laughs> There's the wreck. We were right next to the thing this entire time. Just barely missing it. Look at that. It's huge. I think this is our first time really seeing it during the daytime as well. Really getting to appreciate um, how it looks. Well, that's really cool. Yo, multiple! <laughs> what? Yo, how did I miss everything last time? Please leave me alone. Wow. Okay, so we I thought there was maybe only one in this entire game. They're actually swimming around. They're free. They're right next to the right next to the wreck. Yo, we can actually scan this one. Juvenile event garden. This is like the little baby. Yo, let's go, everyone. <laughs> wow, that is amazing. That is so incredible. We're definitely going to be reading up on that. Wow, there are a bunch of them. It's like kind of like um. What is it? War of the Worlds is what they're kind of reminding me of right now. Seeing them like that. <laughs> Look, one, two, three. These little babies. This is like the size of Arby, the reef bag. These things are massive. I wonder if you can actually swim into them or not. They were right here. They must move around. They're probably like the sea, uh, you know, the sea treaders, whereas uh, the cool people call them the sea treaters. Maybe they're like that. They kind of explore around the map. I can't believe it. It's probably because I was hugging the outside so much. I uh, totally missed... Totally missed those. Well, that's amazing. What a way to start, right? There's no shot. There's no shot it's going to be nighttime already. <laughs> oh, it feels so good to be here, experiencing some more Subnautica. How was your week? How are things? Hope everything's awesome. Everything's looking pretty darn good here. We're almost... We're almost at the trailer. Hopefully nobody was messing with it. So the trailer is right next to the eye jellies. Yeah, look at that. A bunch of eye jellies around here. It's so fun. It's so fun seeing them. And then you have those giant vent gardens. It was a rush discovering the Shadow Leviathan in the last episode. That was so awesome. I wonder if it consumes more power to be taking all of this with us. Now we should have... So we do have a power cell. So I think that's what I might do. Let's just get rid of this one and just swap it out. That'll buy us a little bit of extra time so we don't have to go back to, uh, to charge the thing. And look, we're back. Hello, everyone. Hello, <laughs> all our friends. Founder is still here. Dang, we got three of them now. There goes Founder, everyone. Okay, so, med pack. We do have one of those. That's nice. Wait. Oh, yeah, we got the we got these rotten uh, potatoes because this was from the wreck. So we're going to have to uh, plant those somewhere. Man, they take up a ton of inventory space. We found Kyanite? Aw, snap. We, can, we might be able to use the Kyanite to upgrade our depth, I think, right? So what else do we want? Well, 
I'm just taking a quick inventory check here, just looking around to see what we have to work with. I might need to swap my suit and get a little bit of that reclaimed water. That's what I'm thinking. Might need to put this one on for a little bit. <laughs> we'll swap out the cold suit and uh, we'll, we'll use this for a little bit. Oh, what if I try sleeping, everyone? Let's try sleeping. Do we go back to full health? I wonder if we wake up even more thirsty than we were. Hopefully we're all good. <laughs> Yo, yo, is that picture? I didn't even see the jukebox and all that last time, I don't think. Well, we can have one picture here. <laughs> oh, I need to remember. Y'all told me, but I need to remember, like, what is... How do you take a, a picture in this game? How do you take a screenshot? Oh, is that picture? Um, upload, right? Wow, check that out. <laughs> We gotta get a way cooler picture than that one, though. That's awesome. Yo, in the jukebox? Dude, if you're playing this game and you upload your own music, this is the way to do it. I would always have the trailer with me. I'd be vibing to my own music. That's sick, man. Really like that. Okay, let's pilot this thing. Actually give uh, a little bit of a read to our juvenile vent garden. So roughly 20 meters long, the juvenile vent garden represents the immature life stage of the fully grown established vent garden. This gentle giant appears to swim in aimless looping circles around mature vent gardens. So plural, we might actually see multiple like giant ones. So swimming. While their swimming can seem directionless at first glance, the young vent garden is actively growing and strengthening its tentacles for when it finds a vent upon which to anchor. Was something electrifying our thing? What's going on? Dude. What the heck? They're actually causing damage. We're at 38 health. What the? Was Eye Jelly? Were you attacking us? Was the Eye Jelly actually attacking us? That thing, we were about to get destroyed. I gotta go outside. Whoa. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Eye Jelly's back away. Oh my gosh. We were so immersed in the reading, we almost just completely lost Slothamus. In the middle of reading. It must have. I don't. I thought they were kind of chill. 97, 99, there we go. What about the rest? Because, yeah, they didn't attack anything else. They just didn't like Slothamus. We were just in a bad spot. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. Okay, enter C truck. We're back in. We're at 100%. Really cool that the glass was actually breaking. That was neat. Okay, so where were we before we were about to get destroyed? Ah, uh, yes. So it finds a, like a vent upon which to anchor and mature. That's really cool. So bell, the bell of the juvenile vent garden remains sealed until it anchors to a vent. Once anchored, the heat and pressure activate a cluster of latent stem cells that develop into an opening over the course of a few months. Now assessment, it's docile. It isn't a threat. This thing is chilling. That was an awesome surprise. So the bell, I imagine you can swim into these. Let's get out of here before this eye jelly. I know what you're trying to do, eye jelly. They're everywhere! We gotta go! We gotta get the heck out of here! Okay, so we actually have to remember which way it was. <laughs> uh, looking at our compass. I might need to turn on... I might need to turn on our VIP base. Let's go ahead and do that. Turn on VIP base. So it is over there. Try not to like crash it into any of the fish, but uh, you know, it's easier said than done. Let's head back over there, go back down to the wreck. Now, what are we trying to manifest today? What is it? Put the energy out there. What do we want? Water filtration machine. When do we want it? Today, this episode. Send your energy, everyone, so we finally get it. It has been a struggle. Sorry, it's been a struggle for water. And we deserve it. We deserve a water filtration machine, not the struggle for water. Dude, it's just the thing is, 
it's so crazy dark. That's probably why we didn't see anything last time. I wanted to find the, the baby vents uh, and see if you could, like you could enter or not. Just like the giant ones, but I'm guessing not. I'm thinking that's what they were trying to tell us. It's all glowing down here. Those trees were so cool. We found a, uh, an alien artifact in the last episode as well. Got to see that, so that was neat. These guys are chilling. I'm pretty sure that noise is just the, uh... It is so cool. Like, we're actually seeing a lot of those trees this time. Oh, yeah, the water's changing colors. This might be the actual biome. Yep, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, dude, we're actually going kind of deep this time. This is so amazing, right? 240 meters. I love that. So there, it, oh, it looked like there was something here. It's probably just thermal plants, right? How late to the party are we? It's just a bunch of thermal plants. What is it with this game? There's the giant vent garden. I imagine that's the only one we've discovered. This game loves trying to give us the thermal plant. I'm down there by Margaret. The only thing we can find for miles and miles are the thermal plants. No, there's one over there. There's one over there and there's one over here. <laughs> wow, let's go everyone. That one is huge. I'm going to activate the alien artifact. Not sure why I'm looking right there. Okay, let's activate this alien artifact. Going off of memory, do we know which one it is? Okay, 1500 meters. You say there was one below us? Yeah, so 300 meters. So originally, this was the very first one we met. This was, uh... The very first vent garden. But there's even more over here, so let's swim over here for a moment. And then also turn all these off. I can't believe it, so I imagine... I imagine I went out. And, uh... Look, we got a lily paddler here. <laughs> Sounds amazing, right? Look at this giant thing. <sighs> Incredible. So this is a new one. See if anyone plays like a base or anything. It looks like we have, might have a Callista right here too. This is a bit out of their uh, normal zone, I feel like. Have we made any reclaimed water yet? There we go. A little bit of reclaimed water. Let's go, everyone. Let's enter and just see. Who knows? It's probably always the same. <laughs> but it is pretty darn awesome. Wow. We can actually see the Calicerate from in here. Oh! <gasps> wow! Dude, it's actually trying to get us. Like, it's trying to break through. <laughs> Yo, let's go. Let's go, everyone. Dude, you can't get me through this, though. <laughs> wow, that was awesome. That was so fun. Yo, look how amazing the colors are in here, though. This is incredible, everyone. Happy Subnautica Day. This means this, the video went up today. That just means it's like, hey, I get to record Subnautica today for a couple of hours. That just always makes me so happy. Happy recording day. Oh, and this is another one where you could find the spiral plant. This is another location. Well, that was really cool. It just sounded like something blew up. I don't know if I should try using my knife on this thing. Dang, look at this. 
<laughs> that is just so awesome. Wow, that's even worse than the brute shark trying to hurt us, but they couldn't. Well, let's head out of here. We're leaving. Should we try and see what's below us? Like way down here. I probably should have stopped. And more thermal plants? It's always all the thermal plants all the time. Yeah, it's just gonna be a giant, uh, giant, like, vent. Wow, look at the colors here. Yeah, even more thermal plants. Oh, we, we have, is this where, is this where Margaret is? Yeah. Hey, what's this thing? Oh, just the thermal plant fragment again. This is what it all is. This is where we just were last episode. That's cool. All right, we got to get going. Dang, I can't believe that. I looked, I didn't look up. I thought it was a dead end. Turns out it wasn't. <laughs> you get one of these really quick. Warning, 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. A little bit of that. All right, heading back in. That thing keeps roaring. Is it just attacking the uh, the vent garden over and over again? We should be fine, everyone. Oxygen. Should be all right. We're okay. We also have like the air bladder that we, we would use. That was really awesome. So that's one. I'm pretty sure we just saw more than one. Now I'm also kind of curious what's out in that direction. So what is the name of this biome, everyone? What would you call this? With all these vent gardens. You just call it the vent biome? Looks awesome. See, we can see those, uh, well, there's that. Let's, uh, <laughs> it's totally gonna go for us, right? Yeah. There we go. Just a little shock to their system, making static proud. I'm uh, just kind of exploring out in this way. This isn't where the uh, the wreck is, but I just wanted to look out here. So we've got some really cool outcrops. It would be so fun to make a base around here too. Somewhere different, right? Like, have an amazing view of the vent garden and all that. Hmm. There is a little bit of a dip down here. I'm just gonna go out and explore. It's there's probably nothing. Just a little cave system. Yeah. But you know, I just just wanted to look. This is probably going to be the dead zone, I imagine. I mean it trails off. It doesn't immediately end. Dang, dude. There's still brew sharks here. Dude, there might not be anything out here. Yeah. This is where we did explore. This is where we did explore and we didn't find anything. This is like what I was looking at. This is why I missed that whole biome. And they stop all the music. Oh. Yeah, it's gonna be nothing, no shot. Absolutely nothing, man. Just, <laughs> that is just scary. I am so tempted, I need to know. I'm tempted to see if the zombie Calicerate one, if you can actually scan it. We're going to be fine, we're gonna be okay. Oh, 
how far out do you need to go to trigger this thing? Oh god! Sorry, everyone. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Oh, it just disappeared. It made no noise. That's what freaked me out. There we go. That should be enough. That should be enough. I'm like jumping in my own shadow. I just want to see if you can scan the thing. Dude, when they get rid of the color. Wow. Wow. All right. Yeah, that's um that is a scary scary feeling. I might be chickening out here, everyone. <laughs> Yeah, I at least need to get my thing like closer. It's so far away. <laughs> oh man. Alright, Slothamus. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. You think we're going to make that? We should be able to make that. We're so close. Okay, so oxygen. There we go. We just replenished the oxygen there. We're fine. Everything's okay. Look at that. Just get back in. Get all our oxygen back. Okay. I really want to know. Look at the temperature just plummeting as well. 20 degrees Celsius. 21. Yeah, because we were just leaving the vent garden. Or like the vent that was there. I, I need to see this. I'm going to bring Slothamus a little bit closer. I want to know if the scanning icon appears. Because the only time I've seen the thing from the uh, the dead zone was when I was inside Slothamus. So, we got to draw this thing out. I'm going to feel a little bit safer if Slothamus is here with us. Alright. And then we're going to get to our main mission, which is to go explore the Mercury and all that. <laughs> it's just one of those, uh, we gotta know. I have to know. Okay. Leave it behind. Looking good. Slothmas, get ready. <laughs> we gotta keep it, like, running there. Alright, we should be able to keep seeing it. One, two, three, four, five. That's that seems to be long enough. It's such an eerie blue. Man. Still nothing. I hate it, dude. I hate it. I can't even imagine having two of those things running after me. It's even scarier than the ghost so far. I got pretty comfortable with the ghost. But the fact that this thing looks like a zombie, that's just horrific lighting. Like, where the heck is this guy? Oh, man. Alright, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. God, bro. Dude, there it is. There it is. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Are you kidding me? Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. That was incredible. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> All right, we got an amazing look at it. Now we can all have nightmares until the end of time together, all right? Oh my gosh, okay, now we know. That would be, that'd be so cool if you could scan that thing. I want to know more. I need to know more. Okay, so I had to just completely restart my computer. It was acting up like crazy. The game was like dropping frames. Uh, hopefully the video has been all right and hopefully we don't run into any more issues so what was the last thing we did we just went out to the dead zone right and then we got to see the really cool chalicerate the zombie chalicerate now for the next thing we wanted to do was we want to go somewhere around here right we're gonna go find the mercury and maybe get a closer look at those uh 
those vent gardens. So like that sound, that static. I remember hearing that in the first game. But why? What was was did we ever find out the reason for that? Or is that just part of the the soundtrack and the ambiance? Okay. Here we go. Now we're talking. So there's Oh my gosh, what the heck did we just hit? What did we just hit? I don't even know, but we hit something. Hmm. Okay, we're going all the way up. That is just awesome. <laughs> the Mercury is going to be right around here. Also trying to see if we find anything. Anything that looks like it's worth exploring. Like, honestly, this even looks pretty interesting. If we just swim through this. There are so many outcrops around here. They really would love us to build a base. And there's another one. I can't believe, like, our VIP base, our VIP base is right there. And look, <laughs> another vent garden. This is the one, this is the one that we already got to see because we've got the landlord here. What? No! No! <laughs> Come on, man. How did he not get shocked? Are you kidding me? Okay, so we don't want to mess with that. And then over here, you just have all of the cryptos. Is... That can't be the closery again. Yeah, no shot. Does anyone see... There's another one right here? That's a different one? Two hundred meters below. Man, I really wanted to uh, see if we can find those... Those baby ones. I imagine they were higher up, though. Okay, we got the trees out here. I mean, look, we're swimming right Seek into this guy. Intake. Seek fluid intake. Again? All right. Just go up here. We're gonna chill out a little bit. And here's, it looks like this is where the mercury is. Here's the giant wreck. So, yeah, the water has changed colors. <laughs> here they are, they're directly above. Let's go, let's go get a closer look. And then now we gotta worry about the uh, squid sharks over here. These ones are pretty fast, honestly. We're running out of batteries with this thing. This is it right here, everyone. Check this out. And they're pretty fast. And pretty close to the uh, surface of the water. Yeah, right next to this. So this is the tower that we're going to have to shut off. Pretty Vital soon. Signs stabilizing. Let's go ahead and destroy this one. There we go. Oh yeah, this is feeling so much better right now. It's feeling so much smoother. I had a feeling, I had a feeling I would have to restart my computer, but I kept uh, putting it off. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now then. Let's bring Slothamus a little bit closer. And we're going to need a battery. Do we have a battery in here by any chance? I feel like we had a ton in storage at one point or did we just get rid of everything? Here's uh oh, you know what would have been so cool is if we took a picture of the zombie chalicerate. That would have been awesome. That could have been on the photo frame. 
I'm gonna have to look that up. I'm gonna have to look that up or see. Someone's mentioned it before. Look at this, the K7. I don't think we entered this from this spot. This should be the same one, even though it looks a bit different right now. <laughs> This might be a completely different one. That would be insane if this is a different giant ship. This thing is huge. This is massive. I entered from the side. This thing is absolutely massive. This isn't the Mercury, no way. Well, maybe M37, maybe the M stands for Mercury. Let's try to remember where we entered from. It looks like we can actually enter from right here. Let's pull this in a little bit. Exiting C truck, let's go! Oh, this is gonna be brutal if we don't have uh, a battery for this. We've got some metal salvage. This is, as far as I can tell, this is pretty new. More metal salvage. Could be worth picking that up on the way out. Battery! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's go ahead and swap it out. Thank you very much. So we got a battery. Things are looking good. <laughs> uh, did it, did it just look like we could scan something? This thing? The fish? Spine fish? We haven't scanned the spine fish yet. This is different. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the spine fish was in the first game, right? Okay, well, we're going to have to read up on that a little bit later. What else we got? Laser cutter fragment. We should be okay. We do have the laser cutter. Uh, speaking of laser cutter, we actually needed to get through that. Wow, it does look really cool. I can't remember if it was in the other game. It's so awesome. I can't believe we're exploring another wreck right now. As far as I know, it seems like a different wreck. Which is why I'm saying that. Here we go, laser cutter. Oh, we gotta return back to home base, the temporary base, and recharge everything. Yo, massive shout out, you already know, to everyone who has been hanging out, who has been watching these videos. Thank you so much for all the love and support. Secret code word for this episode is laser. Because we just used it. Right, does this seem different? I remember seeing an air bubble in the other one. Nah, definitely this is all new. Another battery. We are getting the hook up. I love it. We can go down below as well. Nutrient block, water. Now this one is, this one's amazing. This wreck, I was struggling for food. I was struggling for water in the last wreck. This one's so much better. Let's go ahead and collect these oxygen plants. I feel like this one's not nearly as deep as well. 96 meters. I was just trying to see if uh, I had my headlamp here. Because we're not under 200 meters or 100 meters yet. So we could kind of rock this one. Let's see if it's worth it. Seal door. This, okay, we gotta remember the way out of here as well. Seal door. We need things to create the thing for Margaret. And I found it once by opening up something like this. Did I make any sense just now? <laughs> Let me know. This is what we need. Yeah, parallel processing unit. Let's go, two out of three. The third one's going to be in that other wreck. Warning. Oh. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Yeah. Not really worth it. Not worth it. I mean, I love it. I want to love it, but like, come on. Who thought that was a good idea? <laughs> Only 100 meters with that thing. I saw y'all were saying, too, it would be better if it was an upgrade. I'm trying to remember where we've been already. Oh, yeah. Here's Slothamus. Let's just Warning. regroup. 
30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Like, that should have been an upgrade for our, uh, something we already had. Like, the rebreather or something. Just an attachment instead of just taking up the whole slot. Yeah, modification station. Modification station with the rebreather and it adds the, the headlamp. Would have been really cool. Okay, so here we have this fine fish. Small school mentality prey fish closely related to the hoop fish, otherwise known as founder in this one. We, we should actually get one of these and bring them in to hang out with founder. So gray coloration, a combination of near translucent flesh with white rib-like markings gives this fish a deadly appearance. It takes advantage of this to avoid the attention of its predators behavior. Moves in schools for protection, but will disperse and flee if necessary, whereon those fortunate enough to escape the gaze of their assailants will make for the seafloor and hide amongst the detritus, the detritus. Now assessment edible, but it's pretty low in calorie count. Okay. Let's go ahead and drop some resources in here. Just a little bit. We just had a massive find, though. The fact that we found the parallel processing unit. Dude, this is awesome. <laughs> wow. Huge. A massive wreck. That is so cool. A ton of metal salvage, you already know. So we didn't really need to use the sealed door, I don't think. Oh gosh, this might be a completely different area. There's so much to see. We got another one of these. Oh yeah, I'll definitely take that. We have another sealed door. This is an entrance here. It's insane. I can't believe I didn't see this. How the heck have I not seen this in this whole playthrough? Let me know, is this something people find pretty early on? <laughs> Let me know, everyone. This thing's huge. The K7. Wow, that is so epic. I'm just kind of looking at it from all the angles. Appreciating the design. Should be alright. Just how awesome this thing looks. We actually need to swap out the battery of our laser cutter because this thing's about to uh it's about to run out. Wow. I mean, this is so massive. This is like the uh, the Aurora. Huge. So much larger than any of the wrecks we explored in the first game. Other than the Aurora. Dude, that's so awesome. Let's go ahead and swap the battery of our laser cutter while we're inside here. And let's get going. Let's go time. I love the fact that this wreck is only 100 meters, so it's actually like you, you get light outside. <laughs> we want to make sure we're not missing anything. Because we have been known to miss the obvious. So we got the laser cutter fragment. Should we keep going up? We're going all the way up. We haven't found any PDAs yet. This is just going to be another entrance. Another entrance here. Let's go ahead. What do I got? What beacons do we have on right now? Just get rid of VIP base. We'll keep Slothamus on because we need... I don't even really know. We don't need Slothamus on. I'm going to turn off all our beacons. I can just head to the surface. This thing is so close. Another laser cutter. Yeah, they're hooking us up. We have a giant chair here. Got this guy who sounds like he's trying to hurt us. Ah, it's a bit disorienting, isn't it? I don't think there was anything else there. I'm going to go through this again. This opens up, and we'll also just get some more oxygen here. More metal salvage. And cool that the metal salvage is more weathered and stuff than it was in the first game. I don't know if I pointed that out yet this playthrough, but I really do love that addition. Like, we've noticed it for the Rex, 100%, but PDA! We got a PDA, everyone. Let's go. Uh, 
I can only do repairs and spurts. That's so inefficient. The larger tools seem to set off seismic activity nearby. A crew came back telling stories of gigantic worms burrowing in the ice. I don't know what they're all going on about. They were hypothermic and frostbitten because they walked back to avoid angering them. The ice shelf is probably a bit unstable and they got disoriented or something. It's be like a dune situation. From Diana. Orion's belt. Thermal couplings are not meant to be worked on in 20 minute spurts. If we break the process, we'll break the ship. <sighs> But it's nice to hang out with Yasmin while we wait for the rumbles to stop. I hope she doesn't mind all my questions. I love hearing her voice. Her face lights up, and she's got the most expressive eyebrows. They're practically acrobats. The way she looks when talking about nuclear engineering is the same way I look at my grandmother's domades. The woman never sits down, though. She told me that she used to do decathlon in college, and I can believe it. She's like a bouncy ball, just all over the place. She makes rounds on the ship every day to see if people need help. Hmm. I should do something nice for her. She's always helping everyone else. I wish I had a fraction of her energy. <laughs> that was awesome. So this is the Mercury. Maybe it's a, it's the Mercury, right? Maybe it's the second part. Maybe it's split in two or something. Or maybe we're going to find what we missed last time. This is crazy that there's this whole other section. Yeah, I remember seeing a section like this the other day. Wow. <laughs> we have another PDA. Yo, I'm having so much fun. I love it. I love that we're exploring this right now. And we're getting new PDAs, new stuff. Let's go ahead and just drink up, everyone. Vital signs and just eat. We are so thirsty. I think we've earned it, right? I won't listen to this one right now. A glowing picnic with Yasmin. I remember hearing about Yasmin in the last uh, the last episode. And we talked about it. We know the end result, right? These logs were recorded when everyone was super happy. Everything's really good. And then it got really terrifying well thanks split apart of oxygen remaining. hmm here we go grab another one of those and uh let's go outside here we haven't been in this direction oh there's a third one i can't believe it. we found all of it in just this one ship this should be the parallel processing unit the very last one we need let's go everyone there it is. Well done. Well now done. I just need to build the test over the module. <laughs> then I can disable that satellite tower. That's right. Oh, Margaret's going to be so happy. Our best friend. Okay, everyone. Manifest the... Uh, manifest the water filtration machine. We still need that. Let's head out of here and regroup. Uh, which way was it? Was it down here? Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Huh. Well, oh, that would have been so bad if I turned around. I'm so happy I didn't. <laughs> oh, gosh. I... It's like, do I want to really go up? Oxygen. All right, I'm just going to replenish oxygen. Slothmus is over here. Slothamus should be right around this corner. And the thing is, you go all the way up. Oxygen. Well, this is, uh, this is going to be cutting it extremely close. Three seconds. <laughs> all right, we're fine. <laughs> sorry, everyone. Sorry. Yo, you know, you know what you're expecting when you watch this channel, when you're dealing with this dreamality guy. Oh my gosh. He's the absolute worst, right? We got really lucky. Okay, so... Might need to keep that one on. So let's see. We might not have a whole lot left to explore. Yeah, because the thing is, you go to the surface, you got to deal with those cryptos. And they're so aggressive. Constantly trying to hurt you. 
Okay, so this is where we weren't we weren't in this on this side yet. We're getting more water now. This is going to be the new side. They've given us so much of these oxygen plants. Man, we need that propulsion cannon. Can we break through this? Let's go, everybody. Laser cutter is being put to work today. Do, do, do. I love that they have these giant things right here. Huh. So it's another shortcut to the outside. Is what that is. Are you thinking there's anything else? I try scanning everything. Hmm. No, this is a new area. Yeah, another battery. Wow, this actually completely collapsed down. There might be a PDA down here. Is that what this is? Nope. It's <laughs> just the reflection of our light. Yo, there might be a PDA around here. Yo, cooked? Yeah, let's pick it up. Why not? Only one of these things are active right now. I'm surprised there isn't a PDA. Hmm. Look, there's another cooked one right here. Alright, well, let's head back, back up. Search around. See if we can find anything else. We'll take the free resources. Now maybe this side is new? No, we actually, we've been here before. There was one area. One area. That, um... That we need a propulsion cannon for. Now we're doing a little loop-de-loop. -loop. Let's look up. Here we go. There is still something. We can't, we got, we have to keep going out. I'm seeing these doors. That means there's more. But we can't enter it. Hmm. Yeah. I need to get through there. What if I try using this? <laughs> that isn't going to work. Hmm. All right. All right. Very easy to get lost in these. We may have found everything. You just never know. I feel like there has to be more, at least one more PDA. Just metal salvage again. You see, how did I miss this entrance? Is what I want to know. It's, it all really just like blends in together. Yeah, and then this uh, is the entrance to the bottom. I can't even find that one room that had the vent that I went through. So tempting, since I've been playing Hollow Knight, you can mark the map if you miss something. And I want to mark the map here because we uh, we have that one room for with the propulsion cannon we have to return to. We need to make a mental note to return there. Anything else? It's all gravy. Hmm. Yeah, that's right. This is the room. Some more metal salvage. Oh, we made it in! Let's go! Please have something amazing. <laughs> we found a little secret passageway. And we're taking another reactor rod. I don't know what I need those for. We haven't used them. Come on, you're not going to give me a PDA? This is the hardest room to enter in this entire game. You're not giving me a PDA. I see how it is. Well, that makes me happy, at least. Now we have that closure. No need to mark the map. 
This is such a labyrinth, man. Holy cannoli. And this is where we found the PDA. Yeah, this is the one room that had a PDA in here. Oh, I guess we found another PDA. I just haven't listened to it yet. Okay. So we found two PDAs. Found two PDAs. That should be good enough. And we found a lot more. We found food. We found water. Okay, well, I'm going to grab one of these fish. New to, creature discovered. To bring back for our friend Founder. And that's it, everyone. We did it! Oh, I think we did it. Let's go in here. Let's take out... Um... Oh, look at that. We already have a spine fish in here. Now this is just awkward. Well. Well, I guess uh, I'm just going to release this one then. Eventually. I'll release it eventually. Let's go ahead and listen to this new log here. Glowing Picnic from Yasmin. I finished the reactor checks. We dumped a ton of runoff, and we don't need the rods melting down. Then I helped with the scavenging, chopped some veggies with the cooks, and tried to help Diana, but she sent me down to engineering with Stefanos. I've been working with him the last few days. Stefanos, how to describe Stefanos? He's by far the most thorough engineer I've worked with, and no ego. He never leaves a job undone, no matter how late it is. I've never seen him awake before 11, and he always greets me by saying, Kalimera, Yasmin, in the sleepiest drawl. Not a morning person, that one. <laughs> he listens with the slightest smile on his face, and twirls this stray curl by his ear. He asks a billion questions, but I don't mind. He surprised me today. There's an empty room on the bridge, just a spot of negative space in the ship. He set a picnic there and said, I need to relax. He even called me a busybody. There were these crazy glowing fungus things he found to set the ambiance. The most exciting part though, drum roll, he can jailbreak fabricate. He made a small batch of traditional Grecian dishes, but the craziest part, he managed to make a suitable falafel for me. I never thought I'd see a good falafel in deep nice. space. Alhamdulillah. A quiet genius, that one. This planet may be a cold mistress, but maybe it isn't so bad. That's so cool. Love falafel. Have you had it before? Do you like it? Let me know. I think it's delicious. And that's so cool. They seem to be really happy. And that's also reminding me of Stefanos was saying that uh, there were giant worms that are breaking through the ice. And I brought up Dune in my in the last episode, I think it was, right? Because the reclaimed water was reminding me of Dune. In one of the episodes, anyway. So giant worms breaking out of the ice. That's making me think Dune as well. Okay, so we are done here. We're going. We are out of here. So that wasn't the same wreck. <laughs> that was so cool though. Dude, we just barely missed it. Well, let's go find the other wreck. Which is going to be around here as well. But that thing like straight up split in two. Let me get another look at it, yeah. That was such a huge one. Should we try going down here a little bit? Yeah, these uh, giant tentacles, I'm pretty sure. This right here, this is kind of where it was. I remember seeing this. So this is like part two. Uh, and you already know, if you're seeing the squid sharks, you're in the right place. Unfortunately. It should be right around here. Got that. Seeing that right there, but I think we found all the pieces for the sea truck. We also have a new, um, something new we can make. Here we go. Here's the other half of it. <laughs> Yo, did this like root on? <laughs> wow, that is awesome. Look at that. It has rooted on. It is holding this up. 
That is sick. Is it holding up the other one as well? I hope we can go inside this one. But yeah, we found a new tank, like a booster tank. That's really cool. Look at it. It's huge. It's huge. It still goes down. Wow. Yep. This is it. Had to be. God. Oh, that is a massive ship. The Mercury. And look at that. You can actually see from right here. The ship is right here. You can actually see the vent babies there. Look, there's another one right up here. I'm going to go up to this one really quick. While it's still daytime. <laughs> we probably won't be able to swim through. No! Now we have to go through all of this with our last little bit of batteries. Oh, come on. Hopefully we'll be able to finish exploring this ship today. This thing is so massive. I think we've only been around this part. <laughs> There's a whole other section. Oh, send your energy so we can uh, get the water filtration machine. Now, does anyone remember where the entrance was? The entrance. Yo, is there a pronsu here the whole time? Is this the right side? Look at that. How sick is that? Look, there's a pronsu right here. Seek fluid intake. Seek fluid intake, really? Vital signs stabilizing. Eh, I'll just eat that one. Okay. This is a different area or something. <laughs> they got more prawn suits. Dude, is this even the same ship? It has to be. I just was on the other side or something. Another reactor rod. You're spoiling us with those. We have the drill arm. Oh, okay, but well we we already had it. Look at this. One prawn suit after the other. Just all have collapsed. Hopefully this one isn't sealed. Everything is sealed. We really need to conserve all these batteries. Is it going to be the same thing? Yet again, another reactor rod. We have so many. Does anyone want a reactor rod? Let me know. Is this going to be sealed as well? No. Another power cell. Not bad. We'll take it. I just love how nothing ever goes according to plan, right? Wasn't expecting to uh, enter through here. But I do like this entrance better because there aren't... We got more of the Chinese potatoes here. Aren't any monsters trying to hurt us. A ton. Well, should we go up or should we go below? We have a ton of different options. The laser again. That's why everyone, the laser is the secret code word for this episode because the laser is the MVP. The laser cutter. 80%. Good job. Can maybe do two or three more doors. Yeah, all right. Yo, past us was right over there. Good times, right? So, do I even remember seeing that door? So, the aquarium was right here. Okay, yeah. And then I, I kept going up to this plant. And then there was a door right over here. But I don't know if I went in. I'm just going to double check. So we did go into this door. We didn't miss anything. I was still baffled by this. I'm like, how is this a underwater grow bed? Why would they have an underwater grow bed if this was all not underwater when they formed it? it? Just doesn't make any sense. It should be the one for inside, but it's not letting me scan it. Anyway. Keep going up, see if there's anything else around here. Yeah, we do have another entrance here. Not a sealed door. It looks like it's uh, it's busted, but we can go through. We do have a PDA. Yeah, this looks 
Awesome, right? <laughs> oh, and there's another one of these right here. I'll go ahead and scan it because why not? Always give us titanium. Inventory's full right now. Oh no. Emergency takeoff. Hopefully they made it off of the planet. Yo, we have another CD. We have another CD. Yo, Rocket Gaming. Yo, Subnautica Stimulus. Cool. We got another one, everyone. Let me know if we end up finding your favorite song in this game, your favorite CD. Let me know which one it is down in the comments. Because uh, we probably have a couple more to find. Uh, look, there's a spot right over there. We can swim through that. See if there's anything else for us here. I would love to find one more battery. It would be very nice because uh, we're all saying this: the uh, laser cutter is the MVP when really it's the sea glide. This thing has been also putting in the work today. <laughs> all right, I don't think there's anything else here. But it is stunning. So massive, it's eerie. No oxygen tanks, or no, no. Let's just grab this oxygen plant really fast. And we're going to swim through that over there and also grab that other oxygen plant. That worked out. I remember seeing an entranceway like this. I'm pretty sure uh, last week. Is it the same one? No, it isn't. Okay, um, I'm just gonna release you. Be free, my friend. I'm gonna eat one of those. Just pick up these. Water filtration, water filtration, everyone. <laughs> Help me manifest it. This is like the cafeteria. Dude, there's just so much. Are we thinking there's something hidden in this cave? No. I'm gonna go all the way down, though. We have a bladder fish. Yo, why are there so many oxygen bubbles this way? Hmm. It's like they wanted to show us something. When they line up oxygen bubbles like that, it's usually... It's like, hey, go explore this path. Okay. Alright, I, I see what they're trying to tell me, though. Grab the ribbon plants so we can make batteries. Just, like, quickly, let's check this. You need ribbon plant and some copper ore. Which we don't have any of that, but, uh, man, this headlamp, what can we get rid of? I'll just have to get rid of some titanium, everyone. All right, let's grab all these. Yeah, because we have to, we have to have a battery. I'm about to run out of this with my sea glide. Yo. Don't run out yet, Sea Glide. Please, don't do it. I need you. <laughs> I need you. Come on. Don't don't die. Don't die on me. Don't do it, Sea Glide. You're doing fine. You're doing fine. Especially, don't die until I find a way out of here. So many ribbon plants. Okay, so we have another one of those things. Yeah, we have another one. Is this where we entered from? I don't even think this is where we entered. I'm lost. I am so lost. And now I'm stuck. I'm stuck on that thing. <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. Is there anything up here or is it a dead end? Please tell me we can use this. Oh, come on. What, where, where did we enter from? The cafeteria, right? And then it's like the cafeteria. You can keep going that way. You can go up. 
You can go down below. Oh, this is actually nightmare fuel now. All right, wait, wait, wait. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. This is not good, everyone. This is actually uh, really bad. We're in a quite a quite a problem here. Quite a pickle. Mm. Dang, dude. We we just want copper. Dude, this is actually I'm probably going to die. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Oh gosh, this is not good. I have to go all the way down. I know there's an oxygen plant down here. We can do this one. Yeah, all right. Everyone make your prediction. Am oxygen. I gonna be able to survive this right now? I can't believe I never thought about the sea glide running out. Oh, this is copper. Warning, 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Dude, get me the heck out of here. I'm probably, I'm probably going to die, everyone. Probably going to die. Can't find my way back to the surface. It's a huge labyrinth. I'm just going to kind of swim to the side. I'm really hoping there's an exit over here. This looks like it's a room. It looks like it's a dead end. Oh my gosh, we just got a Mercury PDA. This was uh, his room. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Oh my gosh, dude. Please let this be the outside. Please, 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 battery, 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 or something. Uh, now nah, this is just a cruel joke, man. I'm going to have to use this. I'm going to have to use this, and I have to just... I'm eating the nutrient block. Yo, please, please, equip this. Okay, we have to move. We have to move. I'm going back. I'm going back to the only one I know, which is... This is a dead end. It's not this one. Oxygen. Oh, crap. Okay. We're fine. Everything's all right. Everything's all right. <laughs> help! Somebody help! Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I'm trapped. I'm trapped down here. Oh, my gosh. Well, this is where we're going to be for the rest of the playthrough, everyone. There's gotta be, there's gotta be just an exit. There has to be an exit. A way to leave. This has to be an exit, right? Or is this back to that same thing? It, it really is going to be the same. Wow. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Oh gosh. I have to, I have to farm this really quick. Going back down. Wasting precious, the, the precious battery we have. Oh, this is why I like carrying around two oxygen tanks. Can you, does that thing give us oxygen? Was was there ever a fish in this game that like if you talk to it, it gave you oxygen or something? I don't know. I don't know what to believe. I'm running low on air. I'm struggling. Can't go through there. What about the end? Was this a dead end? I know we had some bedrooms here. I'll do a quick scan. We got another PDA. This is insane. No water filtration. There were so many PDAs in like the living quarters. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen Stop, please, remaining. please, please. Just let me move. Let me move around freely. I feel trapped down here. What is this? Reinforced Oxygen. Oh crap. Oh crap. I might actually be dead now. Yeah, my luck has run out, everyone. My luck has run out. Forgive me. Forgive me! No, we might do it. <laughs> oh my Warning. gosh. 30 seconds of oxygen. This is a cruel joke. <laughs> I'm stuck in an endless loop of pain. How are we still alive? I'm stuck! Okay, it's time. I, I don't think there's anything else here. I can't believe we almost missed. I need to find the other part of that suit. There was one here the whole time? Okay, well, that makes it a little bit better. I'm going back in. I need to find one more fragment. I couldn't tell. It happened so fast. It happened so fast. 
Dude, I don't even know where I am right now. Okay, go back in here. Someone else, please have the dive suit thing. Oh, here's something. Battery, 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 battery. Absolutely brutal. I should be saving those and getting rid of the old batteries, but... Warning. 30 I'm seconds of oxygen remaining. Trying not to litter. I'm going back in, everyone. You already know we're going back for a victory lap. You love to see it. <sighs> then we're going to have to get ready for, like, the Great Migration on out of here. Okay, so, um... There was another oxygen plant. But I can't remember where it was. Okay, so there's actually another thing here. Nutrient block and everything, but I'm gonna have to leave it behind. I know, it's awful. Inventory full. Yeah, we don't we don't want any of that. Which I don't even know which one we entered from. Do we enter from this one? Oh gosh. Dude, if this is the one. This is a different one. This is the one I remember from the other day. Okay, well there is a plant right here. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm heading out. I'm, I'm resetting, I'm resetting. I'm resetting even though I don't know where the heck my ship is. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn on a beacon. Uh, does anyone see Slothamus? Slothamus, where are you at? I don't know why it says sea truck main cabin. I just want it to say Slothamus. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so much. We just found so much here. We found so many PDAs. PDAs for days. Okay. We're on day 77. Well done, everyone. Well, we landed safely, despite my apprehension. Diana, damned adrenaline junkie, took one of her defining risks and it paid off. Why hire me as the maintenance engineering officer if you aren't going to listen to their advice? <laughs> ah, Papa. I didn't go to school for eight years and get three degrees for nothing. I tried to convince Diana that we don't need to stop for repairs. That's what the drift drive and the secondary propulsion system are for. Just a bit slower. But she's in charge, not me. On the plus side, I get to work with Yasmin. I didn't know she was such a busybody. She's been going around the whole ship giving folks a hand. I think she was getting on Diana's nerves, so she assigned Yasmin to me. She's helping me inspect and repair the thruster systems. I thought I was the most mechanically inclined person on the ship, but I think she has me beat. She can definitely teach me a thing or two, as long as I don't get too distracted by her smile. Ah, she's got the best smile. So this is the first one. I wonder if you're supposed to find that one before the other one, even though I think this one was a lot tougher. Like this whole wreck has been a lot tougher. I miss my family, Elliot. We need to get off this planet. I mean, the morning started off so well. I took a team of six out to find the structures from the planetary scans. We were all in high spirits. I mean, who wouldn't be? These structures would be clues to another sentient race. <laughs> it was highly unlikely. That another colony would be out this far. We were gonna be in the freaking history books. Yeah. Then you met <laughs> a bunch of monsters okay. or what? We were a few miles from the ship when our radios picked up an actual signal. It sounded okay. like an SOS. We got overly excited naturally and decided to enter the water to follow it. <sighs> that decision cost three lives. Wow. I mean, half my team. They got ripped to shreds by Dang. something. What? They died screaming alone in the cold, dark waters. I, I'm not going back in that godforsaken ocean again. I, I refuse. Some of the animals on this planet, they look sick too. Weird pustules on the skin, oddly sluggish. I think we should leave. But Diana said we should stay. She thinks the bio patent payoffs would be worth it, but those families will never see their loved ones again. They don't care about no payoffs. We can't return the bodies. I don't care about the accolades or the history books. I just want to see Layla and the kids. <sighs> Man. Yeah. 
I miss the smell of my wife's hair. The kids tackling me at the door again. That's all I want. To get out of here alive. Please. Yeah, that's right. This was Elliot when we heard this one in the last episode. Um, I'm pretty sure he mentioned his family. Yeah. Yeah. Layla and the kids would love to hear this. We talked about that. That they miss their family there. Like, they were introducing that. And so we feel extra, like, awful about everything that's happening. Because, yeah, this is a terrible place to be stuck. Man, so they, they send three down there. I imagine they got attacked by the squid sharks. Maybe the brute shark. Hmm. Really cool, though. The SOS that we went to. Brutal. Here's Diana. Orion's belt this all went sideways. How could I have known that so much would go wrong? I failed my crew. No. I don't fail. I didn't get into this position by being a failure. It's this desolate land. Frigid. Cursed. Between these tunneling creatures and the strange sickness that a few of the crew are showing symptoms of, we have to leave at first light tomorrow. Pausing for a moment. Um, strange... Like, showing symptoms of. Strange sickness. Okay, so this might be the Kara? Is what I'm thinking. That's what Elliot was just talking about as well. Is, like, these creatures have this weird... Like, postules and stuff. Um, and that kind of sounds like the Kara as well, but... I haven't really noticed that on any of the creatures. So I want to go and like really pay attention. I saw it so much in Subnautica 1, unless this happened way before. As in before we cured at the Kara in Subnautica 1. I don't know. Ryan's, it's this desolate land, frigid, cursed. Between these tunneling, I didn't get into this position by being a failure. Don't fail. I didn't get into this being a failure. Creatures. The strange sickness that a few of the crew are showing sleep at first light tomorrow. We are prepping for a rapid takeoff. We can't take chances with the vibrations drawing the tunnelers, so we're skipping the systems check. The tunnelers. Risky. But I have faith in myself and the crew of the Mercury. Landing this thing was practically a miracle, though. But we have to get out of here. Maybe the weapon is to keep people away. But if we leave... It'll let us go. The weapon we from the first game. Quarantined crew Maybe. Cave behind. We will be back for them. But we can't risk an unknown infection spreading through the mercury. We're packing survival kits for them, but there's only enough surplus for about two weeks. I'm telling them that we will come back. But I don't think I can land here safely twice. I hate this. I have to leave them behind. I can't risk the entirety of the Mercury. Wow. All right. Yeah. This has to be before Subnautica 1. The tower. That's how they they, uh, they got shot down by the tower, which I imagine is the tower from the first game. And so then they had to leave people behind in the cave. I don't think we found that cave yet. And then they also mentioned Tunnelers, which is maybe the name for these giant worms they were talking about. And I imagine that happened after this one right here. Soul should pay me more to lead these missions. <laughs> I saved the whole damn crew from destruction. Mercury 2 was nearly obliterated by an immensely powerful energy beam. Oh, here we go. I don't know any weapon system with that level of capability. The power source to get that kind of range must be, well, otherworldly. We got lucky. The energy signature is similar to some of the weaponry meant to counter pirates on mining freighters. The refraction of the beam across the atmosphere? Orion's belt. It looked like the Northern Lights. Such power. I fired the emergency flares and dumped water from the nuclear core. I think the heat signature confused the weapons tracking for just an instant. Jeez, quick thinking. managed a slight evasive maneuver, and I felt the mercury get rocked by the sonic boom as the nuclear runoff rapidly evaporated. That alone could have taken us out. Definitely asking for a pay raise. <laughs> this is not what I signed up for. My days of risky missions should be behind me. Eh, but what the hell. I still got it. Even if it was luck. Hopefully, whatever didn't want us on the planet 
Doesn't mind when we leave. Yeah, right. Heck, we're over here on day 77 right now. Doesn't doesn't mind, right? Jeez. Okay, so that was the blast. Again, talking about that laser. What else do we have here? We have some new tech. Is this gonna be the dive suit, dude? Reinforced dive suit! I please tell me we can make this. Hold up. Can we actually make it? It's gotta be modification station, right? Reinforced dive suit. I always go so fast. Dude, where the heck is it's not even here? Reinforced dive suit! Where is it? Here it is. We can make it! Diamond and titanium! So heavy synthetic fiber. Uh, dive suit providing physical protection and enhanced survival in extreme temperatures and extreme temperatures Okay, I reinforced dive suit. Is that was that in the first game? Is that what we needed to go down below? That's cool diamond and titanium That's all we need Yeah, what the where's my trailer? Dude, how the heck? I just want to- I want to go explore. <laughs> there we go. I just wanted to go explore back here, please. Uh, we need- okay, so we have one diamond. We have one diamond here. Do we have any more diamonds? No diamonds, no diamonds. We're at such an angle, I can't- <laughs> Dude. <laughs> We're at such an angle, I can't even go over there. I need just to get that one. I'm trying to customize the name, now is not the time. There's nothing there. Okay, we need one more diamond. Let's go ahead and pilot the sea truck. And just like kind of level it out a little bit. There we go. That's better. Okay, everyone, before we go back in there, there might be more things. I say let's just go back to hidden base. It's really far away. I want to charge up this uh, sea truck. I... <laughs> I want to recharge all my batteries. We'll make the reinforced dive suit and stuff. It has been a struggle recently. I can't believe we survived. Did you think we were going to survive that? We had to swim around. We had to act really fast. And it turned out to be okay. A thousand meters away. I think that thing's attacking us right now. That was uh, really fun, though. We got some really good exploring in today. Well, it's good to know that we can make the reinforced dive suit, even though there's not really a need for it just yet. We haven't been down super low where we would need that. We didn't find the water filtration machine. It's like, how much do we think there was actually left to explore back in the Mercury? There had to be some more, right? There had to be more uh, but at least we did find everything we need for the tower so we can actually make that and shut that thing down so that would be really cool it's kind of looking around the shallow area over here I haven't really been on this side I don't think There it is, everyone. There's the tower. We're going to be shutting that thing down. <laughs> Yo, the Mercury storyline was so cool. Trying to, like, visualize it all through the lore, everything we had to read. And that was pretty darn intense. And maybe we'll, we'll see where they, where they got out. So we did the Mercury, right? We did the Mercury. What was left in here? So for power... Oh yeah, we have a nuclear reactor here. We have a nuclear reactor. Um, what else do we have here? Sam, we have Sam, we have the maps. Wow, all right, pretty bad spot to just be hanging out. Especially because the landlord could be around here. There it is, everyone. Home, sweet home. Again, it feels like it's been forever. I gotta be really careful. Everyone, look, we got three of them swimming directly in front of this. I mean, come on. <laughs> I am not hitting a penguin, please. Let's go ahead and leave this right in here. Oh my gosh. Welcome aboard, Captain. 
Well, that was, uh, that was pretty stressful. Is everything looking okay in here? Everything's all good. Look at that, still a bunch of power left with, with all of that. Let's go ahead and just drop off these batteries. We might need to, uh, I gotta make a garbage, man. Let's do that. Where the heck is the... I can't even, I can't even. Can you drop this in here? All right, I'll just consume that. And let's grab the habitat builder. Okay, what does it take to build a garbage? It's got to be the easiest thing in the world, right? I would really hope it is. Xena says hi, by the way, everyone. Irish Wolfhound. Irish Wolfhound in the next room. Trying to tell me how I got to build this uh, garbage. I like totally missing it. We got two new things here. Check this out. Look, exterior grow bed. Where is the interior grow bed? How have I not seen that yet? Fridge, commander chair, trash can. We just need one more titanium. Do you have any more titanium in here? Okay, let's go ahead and build this trash can. Uh, ba -ba -doo -doo -doo. Here it is. There we go. There we go. Now we're almost... Just got more reclaimed water. Okay. Trash can! We built a trash can, everyone. I'm so proud of us. And look, now we can take this water here. I just want to test it out. See what it what it's like. Look. Boom. So what happens? It just stays in there? And eventually it just disappears? Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. I like that. Okay, let's bring out these two batteries and go ahead and drop in more. We have so many. So many that need to be charged. This is ridiculous. Oh man, I'm gonna drop off my uh, water suit as well. I don't wanna wear it anymore. We did an amazing job today. Here we go, just drop off that. We can take this off. Can leave this in there. We do not want it anymore. Look, now we have extra ribbon plants because I thought we would have to make a battery. I'm just gonna leave those ribbon plants right in here. Let's just do our really fast resource management. There's our copper, we have no lead. Things good here. I mean, we have kyanite. All right, we're gonna have to do some uh, upgrading in the next one. I am going to end it right there today, everyone. We have so much to do in the next episode. We're going to hopefully create the thing we need to destroy that tower. What is it again? Let's actually go ahead and take a look at that before I say we do that and then we don't. <laughs> what does it take to make this? Kyanite? Oh, we still need nickel ore. We haven't found nickel ore yet. No. But we can also make a new uh, oxygen tank, like this booster tank would be really fun. That would be a really easy thing to make, actually. Um, the parallel processing unit, we can definitely make this. And the test override. Oh, yeah. So we're definitely shutting down that tower in the next episode. That's going to be our mission, should we choose to accept it. I had so much fun today, and I hope you all did as well. Make sure to press the like button if you had a great time today. Subscribe if you haven't already. All the love and support means the world. And a massive shout out to our channel members and patrons. Thank you so much for supporting me, for supporting this journey, for helping make these videos possible. Thank you so much. And yeah, stay safe, stay awesome. I hope to see you soon. Later, later.